Tell the Town of Hampton vote to approve the cost items included in a one-year collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the Hampton Firefighters Local 2664, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at current staffing levels. 2016, $42,906, 39 weeks over the 2015 level. 2017, $14,302, 13 weeks over the 2015 level and further to raise and appropriate the sum of $42,906 to fund the cost items related to the Hampton Firefighters Local 2664 salaries and benefits for 2016. Such sum represents the additional salaries and benefits over the 2015 budget level for the 2016 portion of the one year that is contained in an agreement between the Town of Hampton by its Board of Selectmen and the Firefighters Local 2664 pursuant to RSA 273A the estimated total cost of the agreement in salaries and benefits for the one-year contract is $57,209. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee 12-1. to Fiscal impact note from the Finance Department. The estimated 2016 tax impact on $42,906 is 1.5 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 12? So moved, Mr. Moderator. Moved by Ms. Woolsey. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Bean. Um, Mr. Sullivan, would you like to address Article 12? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. My name is Jamie Sullivan. I'm the Assistant Town Manager, and uh, I just want to speak in support of this article and on behalf of the Board. Uh, after approximately six months of negotiating with the fire units, um, it was decided to, to come forward with a one-year maintenance agreement, a one-year extension, essentially, of the contract uh, terms, uh, which is before you. I'll speak both for Unit 2664 and 3017, the supervisors, which is the next. The proposal is for a 1.75 uh, raise for a one-year term only. Uh, we strongly urge the voters to support this article. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 12? Yes, sir. Matt Newton, 11 Ashbrook Drive. I am a taxpayer, just like you guys. I also have the honor to represent the firefighters of the town of Hampton, your firefighters. We're always here to serve you, always here to make sure that you're taken care of. And uh, I would just wish that, uh, just want to point out the cost of this uh, contract. If you look at a $300,000 house, that's pretty average around here, um, 12 cents per week. 12 cents per week. It's not a lot. We're not asking for much. We're here to serve you, and I hope you're there to come to our aid when we need us. Or when, uh, you, yeah, when we need you. So I urge you to vote for this contract. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Newton. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Sir? Chief Ayotte. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Jamie Ayotte, Fire Chief. Mr. Moderator, with your permission, I'd like to also address the upcoming article as one, so I don't have to review what I'm about to tell you. Well, we I'm, have, I'm, so, gonna, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold you to Article 12, okay? Very good. Local 2664 contracts uh, have been negotiated for some time now, and what they represent is a very small pay raise for an exceptional working force. This fire department does a tremendous job. Every day, day in, day out, they absolutely work hard for you, and anybody who has had uh, the opportunity to call has seen their excellence in their service that they provide. I strongly support this, and I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Chief Ayotte. Mr. Edgar, you wish to be heard on Article 12. Uh, Mike Edgar, 70 Ants Terrace. I just wanted to uh, say a few words. Yeah, first responders, this is one of several articles, but just wanted to, to uh, voice my support. They support us, let's support them. Thank you, Mr. Edgar. Mr. Pierce. Thank you, Mr. Moder Moderator. Michael Pierce, uh, 84 Lock Road. The article that was approved by the Budget Committee at the public hearing has some different information than what this one is presented to us today, Mr. Moderator. It, it <clears throat> notes that the fiscal impact on Article 12 is 54,912 and 0.02 uh, per thousand, whereas you can see that is what is on this document today. So we have a small problem. The public hearing approved this version, not the version up there, sir. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll turn it over to um, to council. My understand the final form of the of the warrant article is subject to um, 
the, uh, the Board of Selectmen, it can be adjusted right up until the time of the meeting. The subject matter is the same. Sometimes the details change. So I don't know. Um, I don't know the distinction. I don't I haven't seen what you're what you're looking at, but the details on on these things can change. Um, That's a public hearing, sir. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Wilson, you wish to be heard. Yes, and this confused me good and properly until a couple of minutes ago. Apparently, the union caught a discrepancy and asked to have it corrected, and that did reduce the price. And the new figure, and I've I've been juggling a couple of copies here, but the new figure of uh, total figure of tax impact is 42906 and the total cost in salaries and benefits for the single year contract is 57209 okay. So that the lesser figure is the correct figure, and I apologize for the discrepancy, oh. and it got me confused too. Thank you, uh, Mary Louise, I appreciate that because I, I always have a problem when the public hearing is one thing and we come here to see something different, but that explains it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. Ms. Latimer. Thank you. I mean, Latimer, uh, I'm beginning to think that a lot of this wording that was changed in the last minute is becoming a distraction to the subject, the true subjects at hand. Um, last year, there was some criticism on the contracts because of a lack of information. This year, we had plenty of information on the contract, what it would do. It's a 1.75% increase in each one of these years. Um, the budget committee pretty much overwhelmingly um, endorsed this. So did the Board of Selectmen. It's a good deal for the town of Hampton. These men work shorthanded most of the time and yet give you 150% all of the time. So I would strongly advocate for this contract. I won't come up the next time around, but I feel the same regarding both fire contracts. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Latimer. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 12? Seeing none, Article 12 will uh, appear on the ballot as printed. Article 13, shall the town of Hampton vote to approve the cost items included in a one-year collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the Hampton Fire Officers Local 3017 which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at the current staffing levels. 2016, $17,751, 39 weeks over the 2015 level. 2017, $5,917, 13 weeks over the 2015 level. And further to raise and appropriate the sum of $17,751 to fund the cost items related to the Hampton Fire Officers Local 3017 salaries and benefits for 2016. Such sums represent the additional salaries and benefits over the 2015 budget level for the 2016 portion of the one year that is contained in the agreement between the Town of Hampton by its Board of Selectmen and the Fire Officers Local 3017, pursuant to RSA 273A. The estimated total cost of the agreement and salaries and benefits for the one year contract is $23,668. A majority vote is required, and this article is recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0, and it is recommended by the Budget Committee 12-1. Fiscal impact note from the Finance Department, the estimated 2016 tax impact on $17,751 is six-tenths of one cent per thousand dollars evaluation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 13? Also Moved by Ms. Woolsey, seconded by Mr. Bean. Uh, Mr. Sullivan, you'd like to speak to Article 13. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Again, Jamie Sullivan, the Assistant Town Manager. Um, again, this is a contract that we negotiated over a six-month period. We're able to come to agreement with the Supervisors Union for a 1.75 one-year deal. Uh, we strongly urge you to uh, support this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Uh, Chief Ayotte. Again, Jamie Ayotte, Fire Chief. I would like to uh, support this article as well. I feel that the local 3017 uh, fire officers do a tremendous job of maintaining the quality of service that's provided to the town every day. I fully support everything that they do. They're doing an excellent job, and thank you very much. Thank you, Chief Ayotte. Chief Sawyer. Uh, Chief Sawyer, Five Blake Lane. Uh, I also serve as the town's emergency management director. I just uh, like to offer my uh, endorsement of these contracts. Uh, we work with these guys every day, and I've said in a number of meetings, this is the best fire department and rescue in the state of New Hampshire, and we rely on that as the police department emergency management. 
We worry about when one of our officers hurts, what's the treatment going to be in that emergency? I know today it's the best in the state of New Hampshire. The only way we continue that is to support them, and this is a very reasonable agreement, so I would ask the voters to support that. Thank you, Chief Sawyer. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 13? Seeing none, Article 13 will appear on the ballot as printed.